Champions. And it's so important for them to get steady, no turnovers, and get good shots. And as they take their shots, make sure they have the balance so they can get back quickly and react. Yeah, David Stoudemire said that today. He said, we've got to be better transitionally on defense. That's one of the keys. Here's a three, no good off the front of the rim. Defensively here, they flood the middle of the floor when something's happened. You see the three guys standing there pretty close? It's kind of like a mini wall that they set up. This real easy yet. One point lead. Might be time to look to the post. A little crossover move. Suggs to the basket, no good. His putback is no good, and the rebound by Bell. Take that defensively. Team shoots at 36% as he does from the floor. Nice step in by Suggs, what he does so well, just taking chances. And try to finish, and he does. No, they're going to call an offensive foul on Jalen Suggs. There's that play again. Same type of play. Can he... well, Mark View not in the happiest of moods. Yeah, I'm not so sure. See, that's that same type of play, but Pacific, good start, doesn't turn it over. I'd be careful with Bell on the floor, too. Kispert with a catch and shoot. And a whistle underneath. They're going to get a foul on Pacific. You think they? you were talking about the Super Bowl. They threw a flag at him just yeah. then. <laughs> there it is on the oh. right side, just holding the shirt. They're in trouble. What, me? Yeah, exactly. That Suggs converts. Very good college mm -hmm. and NBA player. Referred to him as, yeah, you know, a top five NBA pick next year. Set a good tone. Brock Rowe with the bounce pass to Bailey in the two-handed slam. Little finger slam. Yeah, lefty getting it on the right side. So the power move, a little bit of a push again right there. Might be Crockrell again. Looks to the free throw line, two for two. Say it again, Tom, too. I think Bell just has to be very careful. Yeah. Make sure he doesn't go over the top for a rebound. Hard off the back of the iron. Timmy with the rebound. I'd go right back to Timmy if they don't get something on the transition. Suggs for three, and it's the first three of the night for Gonzaga, and it rattles home. It's tied, but this has been a win so far for Pacific in terms of just the tempo and the way this first half is being played. Jalen Suggs, the ball was tipped. It went in anyway. He is so athletic, isn't he? And with more confidence. Under three minutes to play here in the first half. Ayayi to Suggs for three. It is no good. Uh, Jenkins with the rebound. It sets in recognition of when the open shooter is wide open to get him the basketball, especially in the wings in the corner. Suggs open from that spot, and it's good. It's a second three. We're tied up at 28. See how they're jumping back on him a little bit, though, Tom? One point lead for the Tigers. Ayayi along the baseline up top to Suggs. And Suggs back to Ayayi out of bounds. Take time off the clock, not in a hurry to get a quick trigger. Jenkins, little shot fake, dribbles into the arc, and it's off the side of the rim. Suggs with the rebound. What did he say? He didn't touch yeah. it. <laughs> Helping from the sidelines. 45-40, Suggs trying to answer, does not, grazes the front of the rim. To get the eyes of at least one official to catch it. They run in his number again right here, Tom. They sealed it off better, though, with Kisper. And Suggs right to the basket, can't finish. Point lead over the unbeaten Bulldogs of Gonzaga. Moore to the floor. Bailey for three. It's no good. And an easy rebound for Suggs. Too strong the first time, but gentle the second yeah, time. Good, good hops just then on the timing. 51-50 and a foul on the floor. No count the bucket, and they're going to get Shad for his fourth does not convert and Gonzaga gets it back little tip there too in the lane and Suggs speeds to the basket slides his way in off the glass yeah, I just love that underhand layup just then and Suggs is going to get one a holding foul just then Nine. it doesn't get that one to go down Suggs with the rebound that's number seven for him and now we'll reset the offense up top now he'll fire a three no good, and whistle blows, and I think they're going to get more for the foul with Suggs going along the baseline. We're on the season, so he's inching his way towards his average. Points yes. list in Gonzaga history. Set some action, motion, and looking for Timmy again. Suggs, step back jumper, is good. Nothing but net. Them. Well, that, drive, that, beautiful by Jenkins. that is a tough shot. Yeah, that was very difficult. Timmy, in transition, able to lay it in. Lead it. Keeps that stretch of 21-point uh, average the last seven games. Make it eight now. 
Again in transition, Ayaye. They trailed Gonzaga only one other game this year at halftime. It was against West Virginia. They won that one by five points. Little different story here tonight. Suggs with the rebound, and he's fouled from behind. That'll disqualify Bell. He's going to have balance on the floor, which allows him to get in underneath. And he gets that ball and all by himself, basically, working the offensive glass. Add and, and Bell. Suggs cans the free throw. Field goals. Timmy setting the screen for Suggs. He'll take a three and no good. Roll. Jenkins short. Suggs. Another rebound. He's had a solid night. That Yeah, there's the steal by Crockroll, and he'll head to the basket. Suggs with the foul. That's a pretty shot. 76-58. Five seconds left. The number one team in the country prevails. It's the 15th consecutive game that they have won by double digits as they win it 76-58.